Welcome back for another strength training workout for runners. This week's workout is an intermediate workout. We will be using dumbbells and kettlebells to get the most out of each exercise. Let's start with a warm up, 30 seconds each, starting with jumping jacks. Here we go. Feel free to go at your own pace with these warm up exercises. The goal is just to get some blood pumping, get the major joints moving. Okay, now we're gonna switch into some step overs. So imagine a fence in front of your knees that you're trying to step up and over. This helps open up the hip joints. We're gonna go forward and we're gonna go backwards. Try increasing the range of motion as you get warmed up in this exercise. Okay, now let's get the lower legs warmed up. We're gonna go on our toes and we're gonna walk forward and backwards, trying to keep the heels as high as possible. Now we're gonna switch on to our heels. So lift the toes up as high as you can and walking forward and backwards on your heels. Now we're gonna do some skips. So we're gonna do an A skip. This one, you wanna drive your knee up nice and high while doing the skip. And you're gonna move forward as you do so. Work on getting that foot down and the opposite knee up. Now the next drill we're gonna do is a drill I call puddle jumpers. This is designed just to try to feel your gluteal muscles contract from mid stance through hip extension. So you're gonna act like you're jumping over a puddle. You're gonna do the same leg and then you'll switch. So just a quick little squeeze through the glute to lunge yourself forward. And switch sides. Again, just use, try to get used to feeling the glute contract from mid stance through hip extension. Last exercise we're gonna go into is pogo. So this one, you're gonna jump up on your toes, try to go as high as you can, minimize contact time with the ground. Here we go. Nice and explosive, pull the toes up towards your shins at the height of the motion. Okay, all done. Now let's go into our core prep. So we're gonna start on the ground with a single leg glue bridge. We're gonna do about 10 on each side. So here we go, one leg up and 10 reps. Keeping the core engaged, land with a nice flat back every single time. At the top of the motion, squeeze through the glute. Sometimes it helps to think about pressing through your heel and that will get the posterior chain, the gluteal muscles a little bit more active. Switch sides, 10 more reps.
Now we're going into a dead bug. So laying on your back, arms in front of the shoulders, knees bent to 90 above the hips. Lower the opposite arm, opposite leg, 10 on each side. Here we go. Make sure your core is engaged, back is pressed down towards the ground. You should feel your lower abdominal muscles working with this exercise. Now when we get to the end of this portion of the exercise, 10 on each side, we're gonna make it a little bit more challenging. Okay, so now let's straighten the legs out and you're gonna do the same thing, but keep the legs straight, lower it towards the ground, go for a little bit more speed this time. Keep going, keep the back press down, stay engaged through the core, helps work on the speed of contraction of those lower abdominal muscles. Almost done. And stop. Now we're gonna go into a side plank. So let's put your forearm on the ground underneath the shoulder, feet stacked, legs stacked. And you're gonna press up, hold, and then we're gonna do some impulses. One, two, three, four, five, hold. Impulse, one, two, three, four, hold. Impulse, one, two, three, hold. One, two, and one. Let's switch sides and we'll do the same on the other side. Body nice and straight, legs stacked, press up, hold. And impulse, one, two, three, four, five, hold. Impulse, one, two, three, four, hold. Impulse, one, two, three, hold. One, two, hold, and one. Okay, now we're gonna go on our backs. We're gonna go into a hamstring bridge. So get your feet a few feet away from your hips. Feet up, heels, dig them into the ground. So press down and towards you. And then we're gonna do 10 bridges. Lift the hips up and back down. Really should feel your hamstrings engage with this exercise. Now on your 10th rep, pause at the top and we're gonna go into hamstring marches. So hold at the top. Lift up one leg, lift up the other, and keep repeating. Try not to let the hips dip. Try to keep your hips as high as possible for the duration of the march. Okay, now shake it out. Now we're gonna go onto our sides. Straight arm underneath the shoulder, knee bent underneath. Top leg is straight and a little out in front. Lift up and back trying to squeeze the outer hip. Doing 10 reps each side, focus on squeezing that outer hip. Now let's switch. Arm straight, knee bent, top leg straight, forward to backward and as high as you can lift it. Squeeze the side of the hip. Okay, now we're gonna go into a high plank position. So hands underneath your shoulders, feet wider than your mat. And then we're gonna do a shoulder tap on each side for about 20 taps. Try to keep your body nice and stable. Here we go. Hold the core nice and tight while you do each tap. Keep holding it. Now 
All right, take a break. That does it for our core prep. Now we're going to switch into the strength circuit. Let's take a little bit of a break before we start round one. So for the strength circuit, we're gonna go into a goblet squat with a kettlebell, a single leg push-up, kickstand deadlift, and we'll go right into a kickstand row. And then we'll do a reverse lunge with dumbbells, and then we'll finish with a single leg calf raise. So here we go with the goblet squats. Get your feet just wider than hip width apart. Find a comfortable position. Weight held close to your chest. And we're gonna do 10 reps. Emphasize a strong squeeze on the way back up. It's a great exercise to work the entire thigh and glute muscles. Okay, now we're gonna go into push-ups. So you can do regular push-ups, but the prescribed exercise is doing push-ups with one leg off the ground just to challenge the core a little bit more. So we'll go ahead and lift the leg up and let's go. And then switch legs, five more. Excellent. Now let's grab a kettlebell or a dumbbell and we're gonna go into a kickstand deadlift. So the lead leg is doing all the work. The back leg, bring it back and a little bit out to the side just for a little bit of support. Hold your kettlebell or dumbbell in the opposite hand of the lead leg and sit back and down and then back up. Squeeze through the glute at the top. Little knee flexion, mainly hip hinging. Now on your 10th rep, you're gonna hold near the bottom of the movement and you're going to pull the weight up into a row. So here we go, 10 rows. Keep your core engaged, lead leg is bearing most of the weight. Squeeze that shoulder blade towards the spine. This is a great combo exercise to continue working the glute and the posterior chain while getting the postural muscles activated. Just ending with a little bit of a hold. Okay, give yourself a little bit of a breather and then we're gonna do the other side. Make sure you're using enough weight to where you feel challenged at about eight to 12 reps. I'm shooting for 10 reps in each of these exercises, but make sure you challenge yourself. Okay, opposite leg now. 10 reps. And on the 10th one, we're going to now sink back down Hold it, lead legs holding all the weight, and then we're gonna pull the weight up. Squeeze the shoulder blade towards the spine. Feel that burn in the glute, hamstrings. Work the postural muscles. And on the 10th rep, hold the weight up. Just hold, lead leg working, mid back working, and relax. 
Okay, take a little bit of a breather. The next exercise we're gonna get into is a reverse lunge using dumbbells. So again, pick a weight where you should be able to do eight to 12 reps. I'm gonna be doing 10. And when you finish the reps, you should feel like you have two more that you could do reasonably well. So two reps in reserve. If you struggle to get to eight reps, then you're choosing too heavy of a weight. If you feel like you can do many more reps at 12 reps, then you need to bump up the resistance. Okay, so alternating reverse lunges, here we go. Try to keep the movement nice and smooth. Just go down and right back up. You don't need to hit the knee on the ground. A slight forward lean through the torso allows you to sit back and down to the hip a little bit more, so you should feel your glutes, your hamstrings. Keep going. Okay, go ahead and set the weights down, and then we're gonna end with some single leg calf raises. So I'm gonna do it off of a decline. You can do it off of a step, or just do it on the flat ground. One leg at a time, about 10 reps, here we go. Okay, switch legs. And when you're doing the calf raises, make sure you're getting every single rep to count. Press all the way up. Try to emphasize pressing through your big toe. Try to get your heel as high as possible every single rep. Keep going. Okay. That's round one, give yourself a little bit of a break. Grab some water. And then we have two more rounds. And now that you completed the first round, make adjustments to the weights for rounds two and three. If it felt like it was too easy round one, get some heavier weight. If you felt like you were struggling, then lower down the weight. First round of squats for me it was a little easy, so now I'm going to a 44 pound kettlebell. Okay, now we're gonna start round two, here we go. About eight to 12 reps, I'm doing 10 in the video. Okay, set the weight down, and then we're gonna go back to our push-ups. So again, challenge yourself with a single leg if you can. Do five on one side, five on the other. Here we go. Okay, switch. I did six, one extra for good luck. Okay, take a little bit of a breather. 
And then we're gonna go into our kickstand. So go ahead and grab your kettlebell or your dumbbell. So hinging through the hip, locking out at the top range of the motion, squeezing the glute, 10 reps. And after the 10th rep, we're gonna lower back down, hold the bottom of this position, and we're gonna go into rows. Okay, so hold it, pull the weight up, squeeze the shoulder blade towards the spine. 10 reps. Keep it going, keep it going. And on the last rep, we're gonna hold. Feel that lead leg working. Mid back work and rest. Take a little bit of a breather and then we're going to do the other side. Okay, let's grab your weight. Do about 10 reps, here we go. Keeping your weight on that lead leg, locking out at the top, squeezing the glute. And then when you get to the 10th rep, the next rep, lower back down, and then we're gonna go right into pulls. So you should feel that lead leg glute, hamstring burning, working the mid back at the same time. On the 10th rep, hold the weight up. And relax. Now we're gonna switch right back into the reverse lunges. So I'm bumping up the weight a little bit because the first round I thought was slightly too easy. So increasing the weight to make it challenging for those 10 reps. Here we go, alternating lunges. So keep working. All right, set the weights down and then we're gonna finish this round with single leg calf raises again. So find a step where you can get a little extra range of motion or if you don't have a step, then just do it on the flat ground. Do about 10 reps, single leg. Here we go. And again, make each rep count. Go as high as you can, get the heel up as high as possible, squeeze at the top, press through the big toe. Okay, switch legs.
All right, done with round two, take a break, and then we'll finish up with round three. Okay, when you're feeling recovered, go ahead and grab your weight for the goblet squats, and we'll start round three. So for round three, again, challenge yourself. If you're starting to get pretty fatigued, you can always back down the weight if you need to, but try to finish strong. Here we go, 10 reps. Okay, now we're gonna go into the push-ups. And again, for more of a core challenge, we're gonna lift one leg up, and we'll switch halfway through. Shoot for at least five on each side. I'm gonna go for seven this round. Here we go. Okay, switch sides. Okay, now let's get into our last round of kickstand deadlifts. So grab your kettlebell or grab one dumbbell. Shoot for 10 reps. And then after that 10th rep, we're gonna hold the, the bottom position and we're gonna do 10 kickstand rows. So let's do kickstand first, here we go. Really start filling in those glutes. And then now we're going to go into the rows. So 10 rows, hold the bottom position. Really feel that lead leg glute while you pull the weight up. Shoulder blade towards the spine, 10 reps. On the 10th rep, you're going to hold Nice isometric activation and relax. Take a breather and then we're gonna do the other side. Okay, so now let's go for 10 reps on the other side. Here we go. Keeping that weight on that lead leg, back legs there just for a little bit of support. Squeeze at the top of the motion, feel the glutes, feel the hamstrings. And then on your 10th rep, lower back down, hold the bottom position and then go right into rows. And then on your 10th rep, lift up and squeeze and hold it at the top. Feel that stance leg, feel the mid back and release.
Take a little bit of a breather. We're gonna do our last round of reverse lunges. Goal is eight to 12 on each side. I'm shooting for 10. Here we go. Try to stay nice and stable during the whole movement. Okay, that does it for the reverse lunges. Now we're gonna do our very last round of calf raises. So get on your step if you have one. If not, just do on the flat ground, one leg at a time, pressing through the big toe each rep. Get the heel as high as possible. Make each rep count. Okay, switch legs. Final exercise, let's go. All right, done with the three rounds. Good work. Take a breather and then we'll go into a little bit of a cool down. Get that heart rate down. So first we're gonna start with, it's called the cowboy sit. So keep your toes on the ground and then sit back onto your heel. Now if you can't make it all the way, you can lean forward, keep your hands on the ground for um, keeping the pressure off of the foot and knee. Now come up, squeeze the glute on the same side we're stretching, reach up towards the ceiling and bend off towards the opposite side so you can feel that hip flexor stretch. And then after you hold that, now lean forward and start straightening that lead leg out. Keep the bend in the knee though so you'll feel that hamstring stretch. Okay, let's switch sides. So other leg back now, toes on the ground and sit back down onto that heel. Good arch stretch, knee stretch, just hang out there. And then sit up, squeeze your glute on the same side we're stretching, lean your body forward, reach up towards the ceiling, bend off towards the opposite side of the stretch. Feel that hip flexor open up. And then with the lead leg, lean forward, straighten the leg out slightly. Keep that bend in the knee, feel a hamstring stretch. Feel free to stretch any other muscles out before you're done. But good work today, this was a tough workout. Should be filling in your legs. Make sure you subscribe, share this workout with a friend and keep tuning in for more strength workouts for runners.